Well, we're switching things up a little bit. We're going to go with this setup with this video because uh, a little bit different, highly anticipated. We've got the AE1 Low in the Ascent Pack colorway. This is a hype monster and a half. The mid was already hyped as could be this year. Now we've got the Low. Seems like everybody's grabbing them. They sold out immediately through Adidas. I grabbed mine on GOAT. Let's look at them. Let's kick it. So, Anthony Edwards first signature shoe. Here we have Ant's logo. Got some cutouts on the outer portion of the box. Got some info here. I did get my usual size eight and a half men's. Got those cutouts there as well. And it has his name. And what does it say? I haven't even read it yet. Anthony Edwards, established in Georgia, 2001. Don't follow the wave. So they actually spent a little bit of money on getting the man his own setup. Has his logo in the wax paper. Paper, It's double papered. I got one shoe out already. It's actually a pretty nice box. But we'll look at the one that doesn't have the Adidas tag on it. Here we have it. The AE1 Low. The Ascent Pack colorway. Of course, we're going to start at the bottom with this traction. You can see the midsole going throughout in these cutouts. It's a pretty pliable rubber. These... Look, I don't hoop anymore. It's been a while. Last time I was hooping was when I was coaching youth basketball several years ago. I would hoop and practice and everything with the young fellas and teenagers and everything, but man, I don't do none of that no more. So I'm rocking everything casually, and these are just fresh. I understand why people, just for the aesthetic alone, these are fresh. These look innovative. They look futuristic. They look like living in the now. Very rubberized. Same as, now it's not as hard like the rubber on the outsole, but as you come up, you have a rubber cage for the midsole, which there is a little bit of a cutout here on the medial side for the foam to flex. Now from the mid top, my understanding is the mid top was full length boost. I do have the Stormtroopers coming so I could compare them. I did buy the Stormtroopers because those are just crazy fresh, the white and black. But these actually have their new light boost pods, which is quite squishy in here. So it's, I believe, light strike foam midsole carrier, and then you have pods like individual little pod foam packs kind of like uh, how zoom air is in the heel and the forefoot with nike you have light boost that's my understanding of the way it is as we work around the back they have this carbon fiber look to this heel counter with a raised adidas three stripes logo got your pull tab there's actually very very cushy super thick i have not put these on feet yet it is like super super supportive in the heel i mean they're basketball shoes but they don't look like they're gonna be all that breathable because even though this looks mesh, it's more design aspect. The toe down view goes pretty hard with these. I'm all about that money shot and these look pretty good. Gotta say, so we've got a little bit of a synthetic overlay over this very thick, very, very thick nylon. It's probably poly, polyester, I would think. Uh, Mesh-like material and then the inner sleeve for the tongue and everything is a nylon material. And this is the first time I'm really inspecting it. We're kind of doing it together. They have the rope laces with some thick plastic grommets as well. Pull tab on the tongue. Let's check out the insole. Let's see what we got going on here. I'm pretty sure it comes out. If it does, it's kind of a pain to get to. Like very much a pain. It does come out, but it's a pain to get to. Nothing special here, but they do have some special graphics and everything written on it for Anthony Edwards. Little raised po pod portions of foam. It's just a basic foam insole. Nothing special. Same stuff that's on that front portion of the box is on the insole here. Let's see if we can feel some foam. Oh, yeah, I can see it. So let's see if the camera will pick it up. There you can see a pod of the light boost. Oh, yeah, nice and squishy. So it is directly underfoot. So it's a pretty sizable piece. You can actually see the shape to it. You see that white circle, not the little circle, the larger circle. So you definitely want to go true to size to really have your heel sit in there. If you go too big, if you go half size, full size up, you're, you're not going to be sitting completely on it. You'll be sitting more on the, the light strike foam, which is much denser, I have to say. And then when we come up to the forefoot, 
I do feel some ripples and I don't distinctively feel, so I do feel some spring back with the light strike and you can actually see them here on the bottom. You can see some of the light strike right there. And then again here, you can see some of the light strike. So they, it looks almost like uh, how articulated zoom would be in a way, if that is indeed the, the light, uh, the Adidas light boost. If I could get some lighting in here. Yeah, it kind of is almost a bit articulated. Interesting, and there is some nice breathability. I don't know if the lighting and the camera are gonna be, be able to pick it up together, but that is a, is a mesh panel, and there is actual breathability and ventilation going through the sides here. So, I mean, built a hoop, it's a performance shoe, even though a lot of people are buying them to rock casually. That's just what it is. I mean, you gotta remember, for any of you that think it's kind of strange to grab a performance basketball shoe to just rock casually, you ever heard of Michael Jordan? They don't seem like performance basketball shoes now because the modern Jordan numbered signature line shoes are not cool looking. All the retros are. Those were high end performance basketball shoes of their time and you can still hoop in them today. They're just very moment in time type of shoes. So yeah, I really like the aesthetic and the feel to these. Well, you'll have seen them on feet all throughout. I haven't put them on feet and filmed that footage yet. I'm super eager and excited to do so. I'm wearing some black joggers that I think are gonna go nice and streamlined with the look for these. Yeah, let's get into that. I am excited. Thank you for checking out the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more sneaker content. We're putting out sneaker content daily. Uh, we have some more list topics coming in the very near future, uh, gathering several different things to test out. Most comfortable list with all the different super foams. Uh, recently did a retro 90s basketball, you know, 90s shoes that still work really well today or good heat to wear in the modern day, and so on. Sneaker hauls, it's pretty much exclusively sneaker content here on this channel at this point. So I appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one.